Fresno Pacific looking for its first ever PacWest Series win. They'll need a sweep to do it against the 3-7 and seven Vulcans. Wilson Ashford on the mound, and he was dealing, following up his seven scoreless in Stanislaus with a gem here. Bottom of the first two on, and Brett Bishop hits into the tailor-made double play, but a bad throw from second baseman Ryan Fukunaga gets past Keenan Nishioka, and Devin Lee comes around to score 1-0 FPU. Then it's John Kortoff singling up the middle, bringing home Bishop for an early 2-0 Sunbird lead. Jump ahead to the top of the fifth and Sam Kim in scoring position, but Ashford gets Austin Cusack looking to end the inning. Sunbird's up 3-2 in the bottom of the seventh inning, looking for some insurance, and like a good neighbor, Bobby Mendoza is there with the single to left. That scores Steven Lozier, and the Sunbirds take a two-run lead. Chris De La Torre comes in to close it out in the ninth for a 4-2 win in game one. FPU now looking for the sweep on the day with last year's freshman sensation Josh Medellis on the mound making his season debut and he gets Fukunaga swinging. Medellis gave up two earned in five innings with five Ks to his name. Bottom of the inning, Devin Lee on first and Bishop at the plate. He fires it right back up the middle enough to bring Lee home and Bishop will take second on the throw. Sunbirds up 2-0 after one. Second inning, Lozier at the plate. He loops one into left field and he turns on the Jets to stretch it into a double. He would advance to third on a ground out, but Lee can't get the squeeze bunt down and Lozier gets tagged out at the plate by catcher Richie Mariano. Top half of the third, runners on the corners and John Abreu looking to bunt home a run. But take a look at this top 10 moment by Medellis, catching it just before it hits the ground. A run would score later in the inning as the Vulcans close the lead to 2-1. to one. Bottom six, Kyle Coffham already on base, and Kortoff loops a single into center. Then Steven Moon follows that up with a hard single into right, and we have a bases-loaded situation for Lozier, who grounds out to first, but the throw home not in time. Sunbirds take a 3-2 lead. Top of the seventh, the last chance for Hilo, with Cleary in scoring position, and Cusick singles into right. Cleary looking for the tying run, but a great throw and an even better scoop at the plate by Bishop as he gets the out at the plate and saves the game for the Sunbirds, who sweep the doubleheader and win 3-2. I mean, first off, you know, Hilo is a tough team, and, and, and Coach Estrella, he does, a, he does a good job. I mean, his kids were ready to play. Um, but, you know, for us personally, you know, to, to sweep and then to go ahead and win a series, I mean, that's what it's all about in this conference play, and that's what we talked about as a team you know, um, Monday and then also today, you know, we need to win this series. Winning a series is always big in a in conference and conference is big this year. These guys were good and it was good to come out and sweep these guys today, it was a big win. Wilson was great and we had great pitching throughout the day, we really did, um, but Wilson was phenomenal today and, you know, and I, I, I really, you know, he was great against Stanislaus with the one hitter, but, um, but you know, today with the more grinded out type win was was almost more impressive but I have to tip my hat to the kids I mean they to the guys they they really won and that's what it's about they found a way and and that's what's most important. Coach Hirschkorn just kept telling us you know stay relaxed stay confident in the box you know and and that's what we did and we came up with big big hits when we needed them. It was so good to get Josh Medellis back out on the mound um, you know we were waiting for this and we tried to be cautious and keeping you know getting him back out here and, um, you know, he was great, you know, and, and it's funny because that really that's not his best stuff. But but um, but even even today without his best stuff, it's still dominant.